Stephanie, you, you might want to dust under that bowl. I already did. I'll just, I'll just check. Dick, if you lift that bowl, it means you don't trust me and things will never be the same between us again. I'll take that chance. <laughs> Neat freak. <clears throat> Honey, I just had the most exciting lunch with Roz. Oh, really? What'd you have? Well, chicken salad. Wow. What are you excited? <laughs> Is there a centerpiece on your table? I believe so. Did you lift it to check for dust? Uh, who would do that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody with a dust fixation? <laughs> anyway, Roz's whole life is changing, and she said mine can too. Well, these years I've underestimated the power of chicken salad. <laughs> Will you listen to me? I finally found my true calling. It combines personal growth and fulfillment with service to the community. I'm going to sell real estate. <laughs> That would have been my guess. <laughs> Boss says once I take my exam and get my license, I can join her at Blue Horizon Realty. Dick, do you realize in two weeks you could wake up next to a real estate agent? <laughs> Some men only dream of that. <laughs> I hope they don't make you wear one of those yucky blazers. <laughs> Somehow I expected a little more enthusiasm. Well, it's just that you're always gung-ho about some new project and then you never stick to it. I mean, first you wanted to be a travel agent, then an aerobics instructor. Neither of those quite fulfilled me. What about that dream to master the harpsichord? <laughs> that was too hard. The minute something gets difficult, you, you bail out. You're like a career looky-loo. Well, maybe if you gave me some encouragement once in a while. I gave you encouragement. D didn't I go to that uh, harpsichord recital? I mean, I, I was just as proud as all the other moms and dads. Dick, I really think I can sell real estate. Well, if, if you're serious, I'm, I'm behind you. Do you mean that, honey? You bet. In that case, I'll need $400 for the course. <laughs> then sell your harps of court. <laughs> Morning, Dick. George, what are you reading? I will. Oh, my gosh, Dick, no. <laughs> George, I'm not dying yet. Oh, thank goodness. So what's with the will? I just want to be prepared, you know, in case something does happen. God forbid. <laughs> you know, uh, George, we don't have any heirs, so Joanna and I have decided to, to leave the end to you. I'm speechless. I never knew you thought of me as a son. <laughs> I, I don't, George. We're... You know, we're pretty much the same age. We are? The years certainly taking their toll on you. <laughs> okay, here you go. Blueberry pancakes and sausage. I didn't order that. I'm allergic to blueberries. <laughs> okay, then they're raisins. <laughs> Fine. Most allergies are all in the mind, you know. Gee, the next time I see that will, I'll own the inn and you'll be God forbid. Well, let's hope that's a, a long time from now, George. Uh, let's not rush things, Dick. Dick, are you sick? Yeah, I feel fine, Stephanie. No, I mean about leaving the inn to George. <laughs> what about me? Did I do something wrong? No, Stephanie, I just assumed that uh, your parents would be providing for you. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to contest this will. <laughs> Well, you can't contest the will until after we're gone. Well, when do you think you might be leaving? <laughs> what would be convenient for you? <laughs> Stephanie, why, why would you want the Stratford? You've never seemed particularly happy in your work. Excuse me, miss. My pancakes? Oh, here. Just eat around the blue parts. <laughs> I love my work. <laughs> I just stopped by for my daily quote of kiss. Problemas in Paradiso covers? I'm sorry, Michael. It's just hard to be giving when so much is being taken from me. What's being taken from you? Tell me. Dick and Joanna have cut me out of their will. <laughs> Dick, have you no shred of decency? Stephanie was never in our will. 
It just keeps getting more heinous. You're leaving the end to George. Obviously, they like him more than me. And after all the sacrifices I've made for them. Oh, I, I knew this would happen. <laughs> Miss, it's, do you have any antihistamines? You see, it never ends. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, Hypochondria. <laughs> You make her your beast aunt of burden, and then you bequeath her zip? Michael, Stephanie is hardly overworked here. And I, I assume that her parents would be bequeathing her millions. Billions, Dick. For my last birthday, Pop Vanderkellen granted me a gander at the will. It was stunning! <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks, uh, thanks again for your card. <laughs> You're welcome. Dick, I have the most exciting news. You had chicken salad again? <laughs> well, yes, but I passed the test. I got my real estate license. Thumbs up, Jojo. Well, congratulations, honey. I, I knew you could do it. Really? Sure, and, I, and I'm proud of you. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm more than proud of you. I'm, I'm darn proud. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take this and, and frame it and, and hang it in my study. Your study? Wow, you are darn proud. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna, I... I hate to niggle, but are you, are you sure you've got the grit to make it in the real estate biz? I can be gritty. I can be darn gritty. <laughs> Those people are sharks. On the very day my grandfather's ashes were scattered over the ocean, my sweet grandmother was hounded into selling her house. <gasps> That's awful. I know, I should have waited a day. <laughs> but from then on, I knew I wasn't cut out to be a real estate agent. Well, I don't see the job that way at all. I think it's more about... Finding what a client's tastes are, whether it's Victorian, Tudor, split level, and then matching them up with their dream house. But what if their taste whispers Tudor, but their wallet wails roach-infested shack by the highway? <laughs> well, then I'll just wait until something fumigated comes along. Yeah, before you can say escrow change some vulture comes along and sells that shack. Only now it's a cozy cottage. The highway spells easy access, and the roaches become rustic charm. Oh, come on, Michael. There's still room for a real estate broker with honesty and integrity. There's plenty of room. You'll be the only one. <laughs> Dick? Hi, Joanna. Honey, you know that lovely couple we met in group therapy? Tommy Lee and Tish Holliday? You mean the, the lovely couple who smashed Dr. Kaiser's windshield in with a tire iron because she didn't validate? <laughs> They apologized. Anyway, they want me to sell their house. I thought they lived in a trailer. They do, but they want to move up. Tish won a nice bundle at a cockfight. I guess she knew when to walk away. <laughs> now they can afford to buy a real house, and they want me to find it for them. I wonder where I should start looking. How about Tijuana? <laughs> Dick. It's taken me two weeks, but I finally figured it out. Figured what out? Why you're leaving the inn to George, your pet handyman, instead of to your devoted, hardworking charwoman who's <laughs> slaved for years for meager wages and a few scraps from your dinner table. <laughs> well, don't worry about Joanna. She'll be fine. <laughs> No, Dick, I'm talking about myself. How unusual. <laughs> anyway, I, I realize that I must have done something horrendous to you in the past. Stephanie, I told you, you've done nothing. <laughs> I know better, Dick. It's all right here in my diary. Here, read it. June 2nd, 1986. <clears throat> I got a postcard from my best friend Libby... She's cruising the Mediterranean with a prince named Giorgio, and they're talking marriage. I hope she dies. <laughs> what, what does this have to do with my not leaving you the inn? Dick, that was that day that I didn't give 100% to my work and walked around pouting. I thought that was yesterday. <laughs> Stephanie, I have no recollection of that day at all. You don't remember? Well, then I must have done something even worse. Well, I'm going to find out what it is and make restitution. I swear it. June 3rd. Saw Dick in his underwear. Ew. Hi, 
Hi. Hi, honey. Did you close the deal on the trailer? Just this afternoon. New owners hitched it up and drove it away. Great. I, I, I have to hand it to you. You're, you're handling this really well. Well. So, uh, how are the holidays enjoying their new home? Well, they're not really enjoying it yet. You see, I didn't quite make the sale of the trailer contingent on my finding them a new house. What, what are you saying? They, they, they have no place to stay? Oh, yeah. They do. <laughs> well, shoot off my pinky and call me Betty. <laughs> this place is a damn palace. <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Tish. Go out and haul in that steamer trunk. <laughs> And uh, where do you plan on living, Joanna? <laughs> cheating on a little woman, Loudon? <laughs> no, but if I did, it wouldn't be with Judy Jetson. <laughs> Tommy Lee, I, uh, I, I don't appreciate Lewis on, on my sofa. You want him off? Throw some Cheetos on the floor. He'll dive for him. <laughs> not moving. He's seen Tish fall for it too many times. Stick. I'm not one to complain, but Joanna's friends are ruining my, your, our inn. Are those Cheetos on the floor? Pigs, they're, they're pigs. <clears throat> Dick, I finally figured it out. It was that time I told you I mailed your manuscript to your publisher, but instead I lost it, and so I sent you that phony rejection letter. You did what? Oh, you didn't know? I thought for sure that was it. Oh, you're a sweet one. You make me think things. Ew! It's okay. Maybe he meant me. Tommy Lee, uh, maybe you and, and your family should spend more time in, in your room. It's, it's nice up there and completely out of sight. Well, what's the point of spending time in the bedroom? Tish is already pregos. Well, it's hard to argue with that logic. <laughs> Stratford Ann. Yeah, just a minute. It's for you. It's your foreman. Uh, I'm in the middle of my story. Say I'm sick. <laughs> You're not sick. Oh, yeah? Walk a mile in my brain, Loudon. <laughs> he's, uh... He's, he's, he's sick. In, in, the, in, the, in the head. <laughs> he's, he's, got, he's got a headache. Why, why would I lie to you about something like that? My foreman's calling you a liar. Hang up on that fat goon. I'm walking. No, no, you, you, can't, you can't quit. Look, you don't have to use language like that. I, I am not the one... Well, you sure talk tough. <laughs> she hung up on me. <laughs> Tish, we've looked at nine houses. Didn't any of them appeal to you? We need a lot of space, Joe. I mean, call me a fertile myrtle, but I think the good Lord's blessed me and Tommy Lee with a double header. <laughs> well, congratulations. Twins. Mm, that would be nice, too. <laughs> Tommy Lee, what are you doing here? You said you couldn't come house hunting because you was working. Uh, the company went under... Uh... Right after you left. <laughs> you lying old rummy. Now, how are we going to afford a house with you out of a job? Darling, we can struggle by till the next cockfight comes along. <laughs> sure. That may be fine for some people. 
but we just can't go on living from cockfight to cockfight. I need stability. I need a steady paycheck. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I don't feel right about you climbing up them phone poles in that condition. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a real estate broker. Joanna, I'm only going to say this once. You can be anything you want to be. If you want to be my wife, get them out of here. <laughs> Still haven't put a roof over the riffraff? <laughs> oh, Michael, I'm in way over my head. I'm turning out to be the worst real estate agent in the history of land. I can't sell a thing. Hey, banish those blues, Joe. Little Michael Harris help you hoist your hopes. There's no use looking through the real estate section. We've already seen every house listed. Right idea, wrong section. Hello, Mrs. Kimmel? Yes, hi, I'm, I'm calling from Blue Horizon Realty. We'd like to express our deep, deep sorrow over the loss of your beloved. <gasps> I will not take advantage of this poor woman. You must be so lonely rattling around in that big old house. You will take good care of my old house, won't you? You bet. I got big decorating plans. Right cheer. And what would them be, Tommy Lee? Another beer can room divider? <laughs> Just put one more straw on my back, Tish. Yeah. Looks like all the papers are in order. This calls for a celebration. I'd like to take everyone to dinner at the Drum and Musket. I hate the Drum and Musket. That's where I first met my demons. How about Burger King? Burger King's good. Good. We'll meet you there, Joe. I'd like to stop by the house and measure the wind in the back bedroom. Oh, curtains would look lovely there. Oh, not curtains. Bars. We'll be keeping our boy Harold in that room. Every now and again, when he needs a place to lay low. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, how'd it go? All done. You know, uh, through all of this, uh, I have to admit, uh, I had my doubts, but uh, you, you saw it through? I did make some pretty big mistakes, and I'll probably be making more. <laughs> well, not as big as this last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Say, say it, it won't be as, as big as this last one. <laughs> well, uh, Tommy Lee and Tish couldn't actually get a loan without a co-signer. You didn't? Uh, how, how could you co-sign their loan? You, you don't own anything. <laughs> Except half of the Stratford. There's nothing to worry about, really. See, there's this big cockfight coming up. And uh, Tish has this system. No jury in the world would convict me. <laughs> I've come to a decision. About what, George? When you finally meet your maker, God forbid it. I don't want you leaving me the inn. Why not, George? I, I thought you liked the security of owning something. I do. It's the responsibility that's eating me alive. <laughs> the Stratford is like a ship, and some, some people are meant to be captains like you, Dick, and some are meant to be swabbies. <laughs> If that's the way you really feel about it, George, uh, we won't leave you the end. Oh, thanks, Dick. You made me a very happy swabby. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Stephanie, we've, uh, we've decided to leave you the end after all. Really? What about George? He, uh, he passed on. Oh. 
So basically, I'm getting George's rejects. <laughs> no, you're getting a 200-year-old in. As an afterthought. I wasn't your first choice. So? Dick, I don't shop at garage sales. I don't wear used clothing. And I certainly don't want some old hand-me-down in. You mean, you mean you don't... You don't want the end? Sorry, you had your chance. How, how could you turn this down? Yeah, get off my back. <laughs> is, is it something I did? T tell me what I did. <laughs> up next on Nick at Night, the Jeffersons. <laughs> and while you're watching, you can move on up too. Say what? Just by playing the Jeffersons Moving On Up game at Nick at Night Online. Ain't that beautiful? So stay tuned to Nick at Night and log on to nickatnight.com on the web Ow! or on AOL keyword Nick at Night.